So today we're going to be reviewing some filament for GTEC. They sent me out four rolls of their PLA. I think it's, let's see, 1.75 millimeter. It's your standard millimeter. And your print temperature is 190 to 220 Celsius. If you hear a noise in the background, I got the printer preheating. Or maybe it's just the angle. Let's set spool number one up here. Yeah, 2.10, 2 pounds, 10 ounces. Let me check them. Alexa, kilograms to pounds. One kilogram is about two pounds, three ounces. Okay, two pounds, three ounces. So right here we got two pounds, 10 ounces. So that's probably pretty close. 2.10 ounces. Two pounds, 10 ounces. Two pounds, 10 ounces. Two pounds, 10 ounces. It was all pretty close within just like an ounce of each other. Okay, we're in our slicer right now. We're gonna go ahead and just print off one of these out of each row. It's a spring retainer for RC car. So we're just gonna start our slicing Okay, as you see there, it says PLA. It says actually flash boards because that's who makes them a printer. And uh, extruder temperature. What I usually want to do is whatever the filament says. Let's see what this filament says here. It says uh, 190 to uh, 220. So I usually go halfway in between that, which I think that would be 205. So that's what we will put our extruder temperature at, at 205. And let me get my keyboard out. I don't know where my delete is on this one. 205. And our platform temperature, we just keep it at 50. And we'll go down. This will be different on each printer. We want to print on a raft since it's such a small part. We'll just go ahead and slice it. Shouldn't take long to print this. Slice preview, uh, six minutes. Okay, I'm loading the filament into the printer. <clears throat> I made sure and clean my nozzle to make sure it was clean and free from any debris. So far, the filament looks pretty good. Of course, the filament can only be as good in the printer, as good as the printer is, and the printer can only be as good as the filament is, so. Uh... Take a look at it. It looks pretty good. Okay, we're gonna print that same file again. It's already in the printer. So all we had to do is load it. Okay, this is roll number three. Number four, build four on the mini teespring cup. Okay, I've got all four pieces from four different rolls. Here's the first one. Anytime you print on a raft, it's not going to be the same on the bottom because it's the way it comes off the raft. That's just cleanup that you have to do. You can do it with a hot knife or a hobby knife, but uh, here's the first one. Here's the first and second one overlook the dry hands. So you can see they're very similar, actually the same exact, almost exact, yeah, pretty much exact print. These are structural, structural, <laughs> structure parts, so they won't be displayed. This is actually to work inside a spring on an RC car. 
So somebody just designed this at home. There's number four. So all four of these look pretty much the same as for it was, of course, connected to the raft. And, uh, all four of them look real good. So I would say I give uh, G-Tech PLA a thumbs up. I'm very happy with it. And I used all four rolls. Each one of these come off a separate roll. So I hope you enjoyed this video and consider G-Tech for your PLA needs or any printing needs for 3D printing.